Hi, my name is Jonto Mushiri and I'm a HR consultant. So I keep talking about the importance of LinkedIn. I keep talking about the importance of why you need to have a revamped LinkedIn profile. And so today I want to give you my own personal journey with LinkedIn and how uh, it's, it's given me my major breaks. Um, so I think I joined LinkedIn in, in, in maybe uh, 2012 and, you know, back then I just had a, a, like a very basic profile, you know, I had a photo and like my work experiences and, you know, I went to other people's profiles to see, you know, like how they were and what they, they put in their profiles and I, you know, I used that to make my profile better. So I would say like in 2012, I just had a basic profile. Then, uh, you know, LinkedIn gave me a, a break in 2013 because I saw a job advertised by IBM um, and it was an internship program and they wanted um, to hire HR interns, but you needed to have a background in psychology. And, you know, when I saw this opportunity, like I jumped at it. But then, of course, at the time, you know, like I didn't think I was qualified to like to work for, a, I mean, like a whole IBM because, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking like IBM is for tech people. And even if, you know, you're to work in maybe HR or finance, like you needed to be like, you know, the creme de la creme. So, you know, it's, it was one of those things that you apply, but you, you like you don't like actually think like, you you know, you'd get in. But, you know, um, I was uh, called for an interview and I remember I interviewed uh, like somebody from India interviewed me and, you know, like I got in and I was so, so excited. So I was so excited because uh, first of all, you know, um, you know, I could like I could not believe that I actually got this uh, opportunity without like no, uh, without knowing anyone, like I was not connected to anyone. I just saw this job. I applied and uh, I got in. And we, we got in as uh, three interns, but only one person was given, uh, you know, like a full-time job at IBM and that person uh, was me. And I was so, like, I was so happy, um, you know, because, you know, like finally I had, you know, like a full-time uh, contract and I, I was no longer an intern, I was given a HR position. And I, I would say that's uh, how my HR uh, career uh, started. Uh, years later, when now I, you know, I decided to like uh, start a company. Um, so when I started my company, I was actually doing end-to-end -end HR, you know, uh, uh, consulting. So you know, I'd help businesses to you know recruit and set up their HR systems, etc. Um, and then now later on, I, you know, I. I decided to concentrate on like working directly with you know job seekers and you know helping them in doing their CVs, their LinkedIn profiles, prepping for interviews and uh, and, and and etc. So years later, now um, when I was doing like a lot of recruitment, of course, like I had so many connections, but then I needed to have. Um, like, like for example, uh, when you're uh, recruiting and you know like I want to. Um, uh, interview this candidate. Of course, like you want to look uh, for them you know like from linkedin and set up interviews etc so of course like you have um like a large network but it's mostly you know like uh, candidates or people like you're trying to hire and things like those so at the time um you know i i was using you know linkedin for my day-to-day -day job but never in my wildest dreams did like did i think that you know when i now when i started my own business you know, I would have already formed such a, a large network and then, you know, I would like I'd, I'd actually use this platform to now um, expand my business. So when I, you know, when I started uh, uh, specializing now on just doing, uh, you know, like CV writing, at first it was like it was challenging. Um, you know, and like maybe I'd get like maybe like one or two or just like three inquiries like in a week. Um yeah, but then, you know, like just uh, slowly, I just like started putting out content on, you know, like uh, CV writing and, you know, like pre pre uh, preparing for interviews and things like those. And like slowly by slowly, I started getting traction. But, you know, um, the business uh, grew so fast, like in such a way that, you know, it was not something that like I, I, I honestly uh, um, expected. I hardly ever uh, market, you know, like the business, like most of the time, like I find the cust you know, the clients and the customers are the ones who like who come, um, you know, like to the profile and they ask about the service etc. Um, and so I would say in this way, you know, LinkedIn has uh, has really helped me, uh, look, uh, you know, like as an entrepreneur to like grow my business and grow it significantly. When I started, I was only doing CVs in Kenya, and right now I'm doing CVs in, in East Africa. Uh, so so that is in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, also in Rwanda. We are also doing uh, CVs in uh, in UK, in US. We are doing CVs in um, 
uh, like recently we we added Netherlands and uh, Southern Sudan uh, like to our portfolio um, and then further south we are doing in in South Africa Zimbabwe and Zambia so and you say this is not something like I anticipated and you know like I went from having like two employees to now we are eight and actually, especially now during the pandemic is when the business has really boomed because of course, like, you know, everyone is going online and maybe people have more time to, uh, uh, like more time to do their CVs and things like those. And then of course, uh, um, like, like so many people uh, like lost their jobs as a, as a result of the pandemic. So m most people, uh, or rather like many people were looking to like revamp their CVs. Uh, but then, you know, I, you know, I just felt the need to share this so that then you're able to know how, important linkedin profile is how having a revamped linkedin profile is you know is important like to you whether you're job hunting or like even if like you're just uh, like happy in your career right now you need to have a revamped linkedin profile because like you don't know like what's like what is going to happen tomorrow um and you see how the and I've, i think i've said this again how the linkedin algorithm works is the more you share content the more you become visible you can have like a very good linkedin profile but then if you don't share content if you don't comment on other people's uh, posts if you don't engage if you don't join uh, groups and then you know like make yourself visible no one is ever like going to know that you exist on linkedin so you need to like to share content and then, of course, like you need to have a good LinkedIn profile, like, you know, in terms of the photo that you put in terms of, you know, like your your about section and your work experiences and having a lot of details. You see the LinkedIn profile and like a, a CV, you can go all out and have like a very detailed um like like very detailed uh, information because then like someone has all the time you know if they're looking you up on um, on LinkedIn so you want to make sure after they've gone through your profile they can be able to um you know like to want to to engage with you further and then also you you know like they're very interesting sections uh, like on LinkedIn so there's also the, like the part where you can have people recommend you and you want to have um people respected in the in your in your industry to to recommend you and give you strong recommendations people who you have worked under people who um you've worked under and uh like, like also uh people who have also worked under you because then like you want to demonstrate like what kind of a leader you are and even like your peers so like having as many people as possible to, to recommend you is always a plus then there's also like the featured um you can feature things like on your profile so the things that you want to stand out maybe like you've written a post and it got like a lot of engagement you can just you know pin it up on your uh, on your LinkedIn profile, just the same way you can do that on uh, on Twitter and even uh, uh, Facebook. Um, so, like, you want to also like know like what's current, like what's current on LinkedIn and what like uh, like what are their new features and how can you use these new features to um, like to better your profile on LinkedIn. Also, like you can you know you can you can upload videos. So, like you can do short videos and upload them. Um, and of course, like you want to do videos that you are uh, passionate about. Um, the other thing that you want to um, to do to just make sure that your uh, LinkedIn uh, profile is, you know, like as um, uh, is visible and um, is you, you also want to make sure that um, you're very uh, intentional about being consistent in, you know, like how you're um, uh, like you're putting your content out there because then like you cannot just be posting like you know every like like once a month only and you're not engaging and you're not uh, using your profile um you know like to engage and like to make sure that you know like you're uh, like, like you're visible so you know you, you could be it could be that you're not in a season where you you're looking for a job you still like need um, a, a good linkedin profile because your linkedin is your online cv it could be like you've just like started a business you can really use your uh, like the linkedin profile and you know use it well to um like to grow your business i keep seeing people like doing you know like just mistakes that end up costing you and and mistakes would be things like you know you reach out to somebody's uh, dm and you just say something like hi and you don't even explain and say like why you've reached out or you just reach out and say um like we, even without any salutation can you give me a job or you reach out to someone's um inbox and like you're trying to flirt with them or you just do things that will will destroy the chances that this person can help you because you see 
the, the messages on LinkedIn, they're not going to get deleted. So if like the, the um the, like maybe you inboxed me like two years like ago and you said something like um hey beautiful how are you doing can I like buy you lunch and then now your then now the next message is maybe three years from. Uh, like from that date and then you're, you're saying like you know i saw this job and uh, you know and, and and i thought i'd apply for it um like i saw you you posted this job and i want and, and i want to apply for it of course i will not take you seriously because like my first interaction with you was like negative so be very careful about how you're reaching out to people because like the inbox trail like remains so before you reach out just research the person re like make sure you you think about what you're saying Make sure like the, the the message does not have like you know like spelling mistakes and things like those. Don't do anything to jeopardize yourself on LinkedIn because LinkedIn has like serious people. It's not Twitter, it's not Instagram, it's not TikTok. So carry yourself seriously so that you're able to be taken seriously. Um, and I think that's um, that's all that I had for today. I know this video has been like longer than my usual videos, um, but I hope it has been beneficial. Thank you, and see you next time.